Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Slime Rancher. In the last episode, we managed to unlock a brand new area. The Moss Carpet, I think it's called, something along those lines. Right over here, it was an absolutely beautiful place. And we found two brand new slimes, which we need to go over and see how they're doing. Because, uh, well, if they're starting to starve, well then, that's not too good. How is it now we combine these two? And it looks like they have just been fed, actually. But you look at that. They have plenty of food, and that is good, because today we're going to be leaving the ranch for a little bit. Um, yes, not sure how that's going to go, but we're going to find out. I could actually, just so these don't rot away or something, I'm going to go and take these and throw them in here, just like that. Perfect. Now they have plenty of food in our absence. And this teleporter right here is actually what we're going to be using, but not yet. Need to test, test, check that all the slimes are doing good when it comes to food and plot storage. So these guys, oh boy, they're actually filling up their plot storage quite a bit. Um, well, let me gather all these vegetables and I might move some of the plots into the silo over here. Uh, except not, because that's our food storage. Which I might need to... Let me see, do these guys eat carrots? Yes, they do. In that case, I don't think we're going to be using this, actually. Don't think we're going to be using the silo for food storage, even though we could. I think we're just going to be putting it straight into their storage here and then use it for plots instead. Oh, one off. Fine. You, you, can, you can have an extra, I suppose. Yeah, plenty of storage in here, so I'm gonna empty these into the silo. There we go. 40. And plop that in there. <laughs> and ka-ching. Get the rest. And hopefully when we come back from our expedition, the prices has actually risen, and we... That's the wrong place to put those in. <laughs> and we can actually sell them all for a very, very decent price. And maybe even unlock the final area that we're missing way back there at the end of this episode. Don't know if it's going to happen, but it, it's going to be the goal. That guy, that guy looks hungry. You don't get anything to eat. Hmm. That was hard. All right, that's these slimes taken care of. We still have. Okay, maybe that's why I added the carrots to the to the thing. I'm sure we'll be using it all very very soon. Let's check in here. Let's check the radioactive slimes. Oh, plenty of puddle slimes. Not puddle slimes, puddle plots. Let's get all these picked up. There we go. Eight puddle plots right there. Eight puddle pl plots here, maybe? Nope, just four. I'll take it. Twelve is still pretty good. Wow, we have a lot of this. Orcas. We have a lot here. They were just... Has just been fed as well. Wow. Hmm. These guys are eating very well. <laughs> I don't even know if we'll have enough storage for this and for this in here. Hmm. Well, let me see. I think it has space for 100? 10 more? Should be doable. Yes, yeah, perfect. Still got plenty of plot storage in here. We should be good. All right. We also have this teleporter. Maybe we'll check that out as well. I don't know how long it's going to take being at the other uh, place, but we will find out. I'm going to just quickly sell these puddle plots. Pretty good price anyway. Then I'm going to release these crystal slimes. Oh yeah, I also have that silo. What do we have here? Uh, ah, basically empty. Good to know. Now I'm going to release these guys out here. Could be bad, but it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Right. Do I need any upgrades? There are no quests. We do have upgrades available. Hard module. I'll take a hard module. You know what? Let's get the water tank as well. Uh, make a splash. A splash of fresh water will calm down any slime for a short while. Or dissolve those terrible tar slimes. We have not met those yet. A watered garden's crop also... A watered garden's crop also grows faster. That's interesting. Let's get the pulse wave as well. And that is actually all the upgrades currently available in, well, in our possession. Right. Very good. Let's head on over to this place. I don't know what's going to happen here. I've never been here. Oh. 
Well, we don't have enough money anyway. Let's just go. Oh, hello. Ogden's... Uh, Ogden's... Odin's... Retreat? I'm probably butchering that. Where to retreat after you've escaped? <laughs> I... Don't know where I'm currently located. So that... I don't know what that is either. Okay then. Um, right, well that's the teleporter back home. That's a house here. I've never been here. Ever. Okay, so that's locked. Looks like we have a quest thing here. Don't know what that is. We have a bridge with another teleporter. Okay. Oh, and we can't access this either, but we do have some areas there. Hmm. All right, let's see what this is. Uh, hey, uh, Beatrix, thanks for coming down to my retreat and hearing me out on my offer. So let's get right down to business. Let's get right down to business indeed. I built this place years ago as a little vacation spot for myself. Later on, I realized that it that it neighbors a cluster of islands filled with primitive saber slimes. I don't know what a saber slime is. Hmm. I call, I call these islands the wilds, and after exploring them, they revealed their true secret, the rare kooka duba fruit. What's a kooka duba? Kooka duba. Why it's only the most del delectable, irresistible fruit in the known universe. Well, most people say it tastes like rotten cheese, but they're wrong. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I soon... Anyway, I soon became obsessed with Kuka Dubas, but I found myself quickly becoming too old and too slow to deal with the risk. You see, the wilds are home to hordes of feral slimes. I'm actually blocking his face. Hold on. There we go. The descendants of the ancient saber slimes that once hunted these lands. Collecting kookadubas is dangerous. I just realized I have been having the face cam or the character this entire time throughout this entire Slime Rancho Let's Play. I do apologize. Uh, I'll try and remember to switch it. <laughs> and that's where you come in. I'll happily reward you for collecting those sweet, sweet kookadubas for me. Just deposit them into this custom range exchange here and we're in business. Collect it off of them for me and I'll start by giving you my secret miracle fix for your gardens. I'll also reward you with a block of my special spicy tofu for every three kookadubas. <laughs> I, I promise you I put kookadubas in the title somewhere in this video. I've activated the teleporter to the wilds here at the retreat and it's now your... And it's now yours to explore as you see fit. Just know that the warp network there is a little buggy. You won't always arrive at the same place. And you'll have to find an, a working teleporter to make your way back. It's buggy, I know. Just be prepared. I don't like that. Uh, the wilds can be a dangerous place to check the Slimepedia if you need a handy guide. Well, I want access to this, so let, let's just go. What do we need? I assume that is the Kugaduba. <laughs> Kugaduba and we get something. Don't know what any of that is. Only one way to find out. Yeah, let's go. Filled with the deepest roots of the slime family tree. Maybe if we'll find some new slimes here, we can bring way, uh, bring back home. All right. Does it say where I am now? Nope. All right. I am equipped with my jetpack, so that's good. Um. I okay. Let's just go. I, I can't go back even if I wanted to. So, I have no... Oh, you're very angry. You guys are very... I didn't bring any water with me. You guys are very... Oh, you are very angry. Very angry, very angry, very angry. Hello. You are a kooka, kooka duba. Okay. You have to be crazy to collect these things. I don't know what that... What does this do? Kaching? Nope. Oh, hello. Wait, there's food here. Can I calm them with it? Eat? Nope. They okay, that's a lot of them. <laughs> Kooka Doomba slimes, whatever they're called. I could possibly climb up this. No, they sound angry. Can I climb up this? Potentially. Ooh. Okay. Oh chickens, hello. Alright, let's open this. Money. I'll take any money. Looks like... Oh, hello, Hunter Slime. 
Hello. I mean, so far, no small slimes. But we do have the Kuka... 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 Right. Still don't know what this is for. Well, this place is huge. I wish I could see it. I wish I could see it on the map. I'm glad I took that extra health now, actually. Very glad. I wonder how much I need to roam in order to... Oh. Oh, we're in a cave area. We're definitely in a cave area. Okay, those guys are also angry. What else is new? That's water. Don't really want to go down there if I can avoid it. There's a teleporter here. I don't know how to activate these. Can I fly? I mean, I know I can fly, but can I fly all the way over here? Yes, I can. Which leads to... Ah! More de... Oh, it loops back around. Mm -hmm. Hello. Right. Cocoa fruit? I don't... I don't know what that thing is. I hope it's not relevant to me going back home, because... Uh, yeah, I don't know how to operate those. Nor do I know how to operate those teleporters. Right, I went left before. I'm gonna go... Well, I can't go right, but I'm gonna go... Okay, I went in there. I'm gonna... Collect that. I'm gonna go down here. See what we get. There's a bridge. Very lovely. You guys are angry. Uh, ow. Very much ow. Oof. Right. What do we have here? You are not angry. That guy's not angry. Saber plot. Hmm. Wait. If I have the saber plot. Hold up. If I have the saber plot, does that mean I can turn one of my slimes into a saber slime? Theoretically, right? Because that's what these guys are. They're... Well, the the cat slimes, but saber slimes combined. So theoretically, that should work. Hmm. Don't know what a saber slime eats. Diet, meat, diet, everything. Uh, uh, eat a chicken. Okay, maybe don't. <laughs> okay. You know what? We're just gonna cover. Like, get. Oh, I feel bad now. Get over here. Freedom. Uh, we're just gonna collect as many of these as possible. Um, be gone. And we're just gonna hope for the best here. I'm definitely gonna keep one of these fruits so that... What? How do I get back if all the teleporters are disabled? <laughs> I genuinely don't know how to get back. I mean, he said... Hold on, there's a Slimepedia, isn't there? Slimepedia. Uh, world. The Wilds. Uh... One second. Well, doesn't say how to go back home. So that's, um, lovely. I feel like I've been everywhere on the island. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Chicken? Nope. Nope. Don't know what it is. And I feel like it is going to be a handicap. Oh, wait a minute. I haven't been over here. Because I clearly haven't harvested these fruits. I don't remember this waterfall. Oh, you're radioactive. Nope. Goodbye. What's this? Oh, that's just flowers. <laughs> uh, right. I'm gonna... Oh, there's some fruit down there. What's that? I mean, I know there's a pod. Uh, I'm going... What's this? I think it was a rotting uh, kookadoo fruit. Please don't fall in the water. That would be not good. Ow. Right, let's see. Mm, leave me alone. Let's see what's over here. Yeah. Parkour. Gamer skills. Get me up, please. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. That leads us back. Okay. Good to know, but am I done though? 
Am I done? Oh, I didn't fetch that. I don't think I'm quite done exploring yet. Oh, I just realized that this wasn't a bridge. But I still made it. Love it. Like, this is an old... Kukabaduga... Fruit thing. Oh. What on... Oh, that's bad. Ooh, give me that. Give me that. Meow, meow, meow. Save floor. That's another one. Okay, I'm going down here. I just need to remember... Hmm. Just need to remember where I came from. You guys are dangerous. Very dangerous. Uh, this is a Kuga... Kuga... Kuga Puga fruit something. Don't know. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right. This is getting a tad bit dangerous. But I do want to explore all of this place. I just hope that I can find my way back. Well, that made that easy. <laughs> Never mind. Easy. Right, well. I think I'm satisfied. We can give him 20 of the Kakuka... Kakuka... Kuka dupas. And we can keep one for ourselves to grow. Assuming that's how that works. Right, let's head back. We can always return. And... There we go. So... I'm not gonna give him the saber plots. So we can give him... Ooh. Spicy tofu. It never quite fills you up. I don't know what this is for. Type food. Favored by none. Spicy tofu can't be planted in a garden. Only fed to slimes. The spicy tofu is made from own... Uh, I can't pronounce his name. Own secret recipe. Light, silky, and with a spicy kick. It is enjoyed by any slime, though none would call it their favorite. Best of all, if a slime is hungry, they're always willing to eat more. It's almost as if tofu isn't a real food at all. Well, that's interesting. Right. We'll keep taking it. Uh, we can store it, of course. And I just want to keep... Those three. Okay. If we then go back... If we go back, I want to do a little bit of experimenting. However, not here. I'm going to pop the tofus into this storage right here. We're going to be te testing some stuff with the Kuka Paduga and... <laughs> and the Saber Plorts. First of all, can we sell the Saber Plorts? Yes, we can for a pretty decent price, actually. But I'm not going to do that. I am going to head into the cave. And the radioactive slimes are going to be... We're going to have an experiment, basically. I don't know if this is a good idea. But we're going to find out. Eat this. He's still happy. He's still happy, you know. Okay. Give me some of these. I might turn these guys into... Oh, dear. Nope, 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 nope. Do I have money to... Nope. Get away. Okay. Uh, I need to sell some stuff ASAP. Otherwise, yep, they're gonna fly out everywhere. This is actually bad. This is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. This is pretty... Pretty very well bad. Mm -hmm. Quickly sell plots, get lots of money, fix issue. <laughs> that can be bad. Uh, okay. Hopefully the teleport... Is there a teleporter in there? I don't remember. Yes, there's actually a teleporter over by the door. Right, 1700 should fix this issue. I mean, they, ju they just ran off to get the food. No, no, no. No, okay. Have to act quickly here. Uh, high walls, purchase. Uh, air net, purchase. There we go. All right, you guys. Get in. Nope. Get in. This radioactiveness is going to kill me. Good, get in there. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, actually. Seven Uga Cap. Uga Cap. Whatever they are. Right, uh, can I e eat? No, can I feed them some of this? And the last slime can eat some. Give me this and eat that. Perfect! And the rest of you eat that. Beautiful. We now have Saber Slimes. In our farm. That is 
lovely. Now for my final question. Can we farm these Kukaka... Ku I give up. I, I, I just give up. With 900 remaining, we're also going to take this, by the way. Because that's... Upgrades are always nice. So I guess this can be seen as a bonus kind of side quest thing that we can do. I have way too much fruit. It's actually running away. Oh, we have this too. I need to make fruit silos. I don't have... I, I actually don't have any more space here. I actually don't have any more space in this place. Oh, we do have the docks as well to unlock. I forgot. How much is this to unlock the docks? 5,000. We should be able to get that easily. Mm, I'm actually out of farm places. I'm actually out of farm places. This is... Uh, a problem. Right. We have carrots here. We don't need carrots two places. So I'm going to try and change the crop over here. I don't know... Okay, remove crops. Right, I take up all of this. Boom. And I put this in. Okay, so you can't... You can't grow them. That's good to know. That would make it a little bit OP. So it's kind of a thing like you go in there, get as many as you can, and then you get out. Right, that is good to know. I might need a food silo. I'm going to turn this into a food silo. Once I have actually gotten the money that I need for it. So, uh, well, let's empty everything that we can here. I'm just going to sell all these plots and whatnot, and we'll see how much money that we have at the end of it. I'm just thinking, we don't actually need the heartbeats for anything. Because this place right here is covered by the carrots and the odd onions. I mean, the radioactive slimes have the ochres. We have plenty of fruit in there. Hmm. I might have gone overboard. <laughs> uh, hmm. All right. I have filled my inventory, as much as I can anyway, with radioactive plots, crystal plots, and boom plots. It's time to sell them and see how much money we are actually going to get from this. So far, all the prices are good. They're in the green, except for the puddle because we just sold those at the beginning of this episode but let's sell these i do want to check on the new the honey uh slimes that we got in the last episode oh yeah we're gonna get a lot of money from this look at this over five thousand. we can buy the docks now we might be able to unlock the the big area back behind the farmhouse that wouldn't be bad actually i'm gonna teleport over here real quick i'm gonna give him that just so it's done. And then when we fulfill this, we'll get this. But we'll probably not get that done this episode. We'll see when it happens. We'll take some visits and some runs occasionally. Right. This is a pretty good amount to sell. I'll definitely do that. Get all these. And these. I think the hunter plot sold for like 80-something coins per. Yeah, look at this. Uh, hunter plot, 83. Honey plot, 69. That's a pretty decent price, you know. Just like that. We have crossed 10,000. We also... And just like that, we have crossed the 10,000 mark. <laughs> right. We have a... Should we do the quest or should we unlock anywhere? Let's take Let's take a look what we have. I do like Thora. But I also do like Victor. Uh, Thora. Uh... Oh! That's very interesting. Uh, yeah, that's six chickens, three boom slimes. Yeah, I can do that, I suppose. I'll do it. She did ask us very nicely, I suppose. So, th three boom slimes and six chickens. Right. Well, that's one, two. <laughs> and that's another one. And I do see a chicken. Get over here. Oh, wow. This quest might be way easier than I originally anticipated. That's a stone. Yeah. Gold. Gold. Oh, I disappeared. I don't know how to... <laughs> I don't know what to do when I see the golden, the golden slimes. 
Someone told me way back when in my first Slime Ranch uh, series on my main channel, but I do not remember. Uh, any chickens? I see no chickens. Right, I see no chickens. Time to continue onward. I mean, I could just take two of my hens just to get it. Let's just do that. They do reproduce. It's fine. I don't need them at this point in time. It's fine. Just so we can get it done and get to the new area that we're going to unlock. This is exciting. All right, two of you. Who is it going to be? You two, then. Six in there. And there we go. Completed. Don't really need the Oka Okas. I suppose we can give it in there. They eat vegetables. Just gotta sell the Hunter Plot and the Crystal Plots right away. Just like that. Do we have another quest? No. Okay. We have 11,000. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to cost 10,000. We're making a huge expansion today. Slime Science, you've unlocked the lab, a special ranch expansion that will allow you to create gadgets using Slime Science. Head on over to the barn and get started. Let's do that. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, we have areas here. What does this lead? So this leads into our cave, so we can go through our cave to this place. We have a lot of slots here. Hold on, we have four here. We have one back here. A wonderful view. Okay, so five new plots in total. Time to... Ooh, time to get crafty. This barn has all the equipment you'll need to begin crafting gadgets using Slime Science. Gadgets include useful abilities to aid in exploring defensive turrets, decorations, and more. Not sure I like the sound of that. Um, right. There's a teleport as well. The refinery. In order to fabricate the gadgets, you'll need resources in your refinery. Try shooting a plot into the refinery. But remember, any resources deposited into a refinery cannot be removed. Um, so I need to go get a plot then, I suppose. Can I activate this? Okay, so that's just a list, I suppose, of things that we've deposited into the refinery. Right. Be right back. Now, it doesn't say what type of plot, so I'm just gonna get like... 11 phosphor plots sounds good to me. And a one, and a two, and a poop. Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. The Builder Shop. The Builder Shop allows you to purchase blueprints. A blueprint is required to build any gadget. Be sure to check the Builder Shop often for new blueprints. Let's take a look then. Oh, what on earth is all this? The Builder Shop allows you to purchase blueprints. Okay, so I can purchase blueprints to thing gadgets. Uh, uh, gadgets. Right, let's take a look. Novice Pump allows you to siphon underground resources, lasts one cycle. Apiary allows you to collect resources from wild bees. Pink Teleporter, a set of two teleporters that can be used to create your own quick travel link. Oh! A set of two gadgets that allows you to remotely transfer resources between two points. Oh, that I love that. A helper bot that can be programmed to buzz around your ranch and perform a variety of tasks. Move plots to silos. Med station. Rapidly drains your energy to restore health. Don't really need that. Hydro turret. A defensive cannon that will automatically target tar and blast them with water. That's cool. Begins a round of slime ball as soon as a single slime passes through the hoop. Watch your high score. Slime stage allows you to let other slimes know who is unequivocally. I'm butchering that. The number one slime. Pink slime lamp. That's cool. Novice Gordo Snare. A special snare that captures a Gordo slime. Baited with food and weight. Hmm. Right. I don't know what this pump is going to do. But we have some money. So I'm going to... The drone is cool though. But I don't have enough money for it anyway. Let's do the pump. Right. So I got the pump, so I assume it's now going to then lead me on to, yep, the fabricator. Once you have a blueprint, the fabricator allows you to craft gadgets using resources stored in the refinery. Give it a try. Okay. So there it says what it needs. So this, the novice drill. Siphon underground resources, so we need 10. Okay, so for this one, let's make the novice drill. That is 10 pink plots, 6 rock plots, and 3 radioactive plots. Fabricate? Well, we don't have what we need yet. So let's get go and get those and see what happens. Oh, gadget mode. In order to place gadgets, you need to enable gadget mode. 
Oh. Designated areas for it. In, bats in gadget mode, you cannot vacuum or shoot, but you can see all the build sites in the world that can place your gadgets. Have a look around. Okay, that's very cool. Right, uh, I don't need phosphor plots. <laughs> I need, yes, rock plots. Pretty sure it said I needed six of those. Yes, play site. Once you've found the build site, uh, yes, we'll do that in a moment. I need ten pink plots and then... I'm, I'm hoping to be able to find pink plots over here. Yep, yep. Give, give, give. And just like that, that is our tenth pink plot. Just need three radioactive plots and then we should be good to go. And there we go. Three. Oh, I guess we have one extra. All right. We should now have enable. Enable. We should now have enough to fabricate the pump thing. Whatever it is. We're going to find out. All right. So just going to deposit all of this in here. There we go. And then in the fabricator. Yes. We now have enough to make the novice drill. So I guess we just have it now. Utilities, decorations, war tech. Right. So different categories. So we have that now, I suppose. So if we go into this, press E to activate. Okay, I'm gonna do it where I actually want to place this, which is going to be back home. No, I wanna place it here. Okay, this gadget is installed permanently until demolished. Good. Uh, so I can rotate it if I want to. Uh, Science class passed. That covers the basics of slime science. To learn more, check out the new slime science section in your Slimepedia. It's loaded with handy info. Okay. Well, there we go. I don't know what that's going to do. <laughs> uh, let's go back and read the blueprint. Just as a refresher. Uh, that's not it. Novice drill uh, sold out. Well, because we bought them. Allows you to drill for buried resources. Last one cycle. So that lasts 10 minutes, apparently. So I guess we'll have to come back in 10 minutes. Right. In the meantime... Good question. Well, saved by the bell. In the meantime, we have another quest here. Uh, let's go with Miles here. Um, that is all very doable. Yeah, that's doable. And there we go. That easy. That was really easy, actually. Right, uh, do you guys eat vegetables? Fruit and veggies. You just had fruit, though. I don't know. We'll throw it in here. Sure. Why not? Roosters over here. Good. Right, I think while we're waiting, I'm going to try and head on over to the wilds again. And just see if I can get some more of those fruits. I really want access to this area. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a shot. Okay, I got teleported into a new area now this time. Oh, hello. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Okay, it looks like the fruit has returned. I mean, I'll take these while we're here. Go away, please. Go away. Just want the plots. Just want the plots. Oh, there's a lot here. Oh, wow. I mean, that's free money. Go away, please. I don't think that one was actually... Oh, it ate the fruit that I came for. That's rude. Very rude. Give me. Thank you. Okay, wait. Wait, I see fruit. I see fruit. I see fruit. That's not a fruit. Get out. <laughs> New upgrade available. Treasure cracker. Allows you to bypass the locks on basic treasure parts. Ooh. Okay, now that's an upgrade that I really, really do want and would appreciate. That would be amazing getting that. We're buying that immediately. In fact, as soon as we get home. Oh, I don't think I turned back here when I was here the first time. In this cave, I don't think I turned left. Well, I think I have a pretty... I have a satisfying amount of kooka dubas, so we're just gonna plop all these in here. Not quite enough to reach the the top goal there, but that's fine. Maybe we'll reach it in the next episode. I want to see if I have reached the 11 minutes or not. I don't think I have, but it would be nice if I had. But 
before we do that, though, we do have a bunch of saber plots we can sell. Just like that. Boom. And as promised, we are going to be immediately purchasing... Oh. We don't have enough for the treasure cracker. Hmm. That would be a problem. But it's not a problem anymore. 5,000, we could buy the docks. But I don't want to do too much in every episode either, because then we're going to get through this way too quickly. There we go. We got it. Right, let's see if we have reached the 11 minutes. Moment of truth. Two minutes left. That's fair. Let's see if we have anything in here. Allows you to collect resources from wild bees. I don't know what that means. These are really cool. Uh, anything for 500? <laughs> no. Only this. Let's purchase that. Let's take a look in uh, this. So that's the drill that we made. Then we need the pump. Well, I would like to make the pump and also the apiary. So that's honey plot, phosphor plot, tabby plots. Ooh, we actually don't have tabby slimes. I just recall we don't have tabby slimes actually. Hmm. Oh wow, we have a lot of these slimes right here. Money is not an issue anymore. That's so nice. And also, we are out of food storage in here, so I'm just going to give them a bunch. There we go. We have even more now. Get in there. Yep. We have more than I can have in my inventory at the moment. That's pretty amazing. So, have those. I get all these. After we have sold this, I'm pretty sure the two minutes has passed. Achievement, upper crust, and then the saber plots. Well, they're still at a good price. Oh, we have just made 5,000. Not bad. All right, 13 seconds. No idea what's going to happen when this is done. But we're going to find out in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ready. E to activate. Jellystone. It's both solid and squishy at the same time. What on earth is Jellystone? Slime science material. Jellystone is a common resource obtained with a drill. Jellystone is a semi-hardened mixture of minerals and slime, possibly resulting from plots sinking back into the earth below. Because of its softer texture, it's a favorite stone for sculptures. On the ranch, deposit Jellystone into the lab's refinery, where it can then be used for fabricating slime science gadgets. Oh, so it's just a resource that we use to create other gadgets. Okay, that's cool. So we can just deposit that right away. Okay, that's nice. Very cool. Oh, and wait a minute, we can open this part here. Let's open it. This is the first part I've ever opened. Hello. Okay. That was a lot. Deep brine, salt of the earth kind of stuff. Strange diamond and hexacomb. Let's find out. Um... Deep Rhyme is a common resource exclusive to the dry reef obtained with a pump. So I guess this is what we would get if we used a pump here. Not safe for drinking, Deep Rhyme is thought to be water from the slime sea that has been filtered by the subterranean coral of the dry reef. It is significantly denser than fresh water and loaded with salt. On the ranch deposit into the last refinery. Right, where then do we have not spicy tofu, not the hens... Uh, strange diamond, very strange, but even more valuable. Can we sell it? Uh, deposit, yep. Yeah. Even the uh, strange diamonds are a rare resource obtained with a drill. Even in the dark, these diamonds seem to shine as if light is passing through them. Strange diamonds are highly valued for their use in a variety of warp tech processes. Being almost impossibly dense and intricate in their composition, a strange diamond can reflect light within itself so profoundly that it actually bends time. Wow. And hexacomb, bee soft and geometry, the chocolate and peanut butter of nature. <laughs> what? <laughs> Science material, uh, department, yep, that's refinery. Hexacomb is an uncommon resource obtained with an up 
apiary. So this is what we would get if we planted the apiary. Hexacomb is the result of bees arranging buzzwax into complex patterns to store their honey and eggs. Why the hexagonal shape? Bees understand that the hexagon is the shape of the future. Bees were sci-fi before it was cool. <laughs> well, we could just go ahead and instantly put this in there. And um, that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for this episode. I have a lot of need to process. I need to decide which ones of these stuff that we need. I mean, it would be ideal to get all the blueprints and then build it all at some point. Don't know how difficult some of the recipes are going to be, but we're going to find that out together. But in the next episode, I think we will be unlocking the possibly the, the harbor or whatever it was called. Hopefully we're going to be getting some uh, new areas that we can actually place buildings down in. That would be kind of cool. We also do have this over here, which we have not unlocked yet, and this. Don't know what it is. Don't know how we get access to it. Hopefully there's a clue in this area. And of course we have the quest from uh, the, the tofu guy. And we also have Miles, who has a teleporter in there. Uh... And of course, we have all the treasure parts that we can start unlocking. So, plenty of to do, plenty of things to do. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day and goodbye. Stop.